Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Today we are going to teach you about chapter number first of chemistry that is stoichiometry. Stoichiometry is about the calculation that is based on chemical reaction or balance chemical reaction or balance chemical equation. To be poor start the stoichiometry we will first discuss about the term mole. So before we go to mole here mole is just like a term like dozen in normal life we know that dozen is used for 12 similar things in life if we have for example 12 bananas we call it we have one dozen banana one dozen banana if we have 12 keychains we call it dozen keychain instead of 12 keychain so same way there is another term that is called gross that is used for 144 similar things so if we have 144 similar thing we will say that i have one gross things if you have 144 watch we can say that we have one gross watches now Mole is the term like dozen and gross, gross but it is used for when we have 6.023 multiplied 10 raised to the power 23. This is a huge number like this is 6023, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 up to 20, 21, 23, up to 20, 0. This is a huge number. So, if we, we have that, that, that number of things, we will call it that the way we have one mole da. If someone has 6.023 multiply 10 is to power multiply 10 is to power 23 rupees they can say that i have one mole rupees or if there is 6.023 multiply 10 is to power 23 atoms we can call it that it is one mole atoms now for atoms we in book or anything we represent the 6.023 multiplied 10 raised to the power 23 number by Na and this number is called Avogadro number discovered by scientist name Avogadro so that's why we call it Avogadro number. So to avoid the repetition of this number in writing and calculation and everything we use the terms Na. So by using Na we can bypass the use of 6.023 multiplied 10 raised to the power 23 so na equal to 6.023 multiply 10 raised to power 23 similar things are equal to mole remember this now if for atoms for atoms one mole atom is equal to na atom like for cl we can say that we have one mole of cl if we, that its number is na cl R 6.023 multiplied 10 is power 23. One mole Na means that we have Nm a guard row number of sodium. One mole hydrogen means that we have a guard row number of hydrogen atom. And for compound, one mole H2O means that we have one mole of H2O. And one mole NaCl means that we have a guard row number of NaCl. This was the relation between mole and its number. Same like the relation between the mass. So, we know that in mole like before mole i would like to discuss about dozen because dozen is normal thing so if we have one mole or one dozen banana as compared to one dozen cars if somebody have one dozen bananas and another person have one dozen car so by Conceptually or normally we know that the weight of one mole banana and weight of one, one dozen banana and weight of one dozen car, the car weight will be maximum than weight of the banana. So the same is that for mole. So one mole, one mole hydrogen, one mole nitrogen or one mole carbon it is common atom or one mole oxygen or one mole 
एन ए सो इन वन मोल ऑफ हाइड्रोजन वी हैव सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाइट इन एस्ट्रो फॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री एटम्स ऑफ हाइड्रोजन सो सेम वे वन मोल कार्बन मीन सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री आर एन ए नंबर ऑफ कार्बन इन वन मोल ऑक्सीजन मीन एन ए नंबर ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इन वन मोल सूडियम मीन एन ए नंबर ऑफ सूडियम बट इफ यू वॉन्ट द रिलेशन बिटवीन मोल एंड मास सो वन मोल हाइड्रोजन मस्ट वेट समथिंग एंड वन मोल कार्बन इज द वेट समथिंग इज सो द वेट ऑफ वन मोल हाइड्रोजन कार्बन ऑक्सीजन एंड सूडियम आर डिफरेंट फॉर ईच अदर सो वट इज द रिलेशन बिटवीन द मोल एंड मास सो वन मोल ऑफ वन मोल ऑफ एटम्स हैव एटम्स इक्वल टू एट्स एटामिक वेट एंड वन मोल ऑफ कंपाउंड मालिकुलर कंपाउंड आर आयनिक कंपाउंड एड्स मालिकुलर वेट आर मालिकुलर वॉज सो फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव वन मोल ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इन दिस केस इफ वी हैव वन मोल हाइड्रोजन सो एटामिक वेट ऑफ हाइड्रोजन इज हाइड्रोजन इज वन एंड फॉर एच टू दिस इज टू सो वन मोल हाइड्रोजन मीन वन ग्राम सो वन मोल हाइड्रोजन इज इक्वल टू वन ग्राम एंड वन मोल कार्बन इक्वल टू इस कार्बन मालिकुलर मास इज ट्वेल्व सो वन मोल कार्बन इज ट्वेल्व ग्राम एंड वन मोल ऑक्सीजन इज सिक्सटीन ग्राम नाउ फॉर एच टू ओ वन ग्राम वन मोल एच टू ओ मीन्स एफ वी हैव वन मोल एच टू ओ एट मीन दैट इट्स मास इज हाइड्रोजन इज वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू ऑक्सीजन इज सिक्सटीन सो इट्स इज एटीन ग्राम इफ वी हैव वन मोल एन ए सी एल वी कैन से दैट इट्स वेट इज इट्स मालिकुल मास फ्राम टेबल इज तेईस फ्राम सी इज थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव सो एट्स वेट इज फिफ्टी एट ग्राम सो वन मोल ऑफ सब्सटांस इज सेम नंबर ऑफ हाइड्रो ऑफ दैट एटम बट एट एक्चुअली मास डिफरेंट नाउ हियर टू राइट अगेन वन मोल ऑफ हाइड्रोजन वेट्स वन ग्राम एंड वन मोल कार्बन वेट्स ट्वेल्व ग्राम वन मोल ऑक्सीजन वेट सिक्सटीन ग्राम वन मोल एन ए वेट तेईस ग्राम एंड वन मोल एच टू ओ दैट हैज एन ए मालिकूल ऑफ एच टू ओ बट इट्स वेट्स विल बी इक्वल टू एटीन ग्राम एंड लाइक वन मोल एन ए सी एल एन ए मोल मालिक्यूल ऑफ एन ए सी एल एन एट्स वेट विल बी फिफ्टी एट ग्राम सो दिस वॉज द रिलेशन बिटवीन मोल एट्स नंबर एंड एट्स मास पर डिफरेंट एटम्स एंड कंपाउंड नेक्स्ट ऑन वी आर गोइंग टू लाइक टू राइट टू टू थ्री एम सी क्यूज ऑन दिस थिंग एंड देन वी विल गो फर्दर फॉर स्टाइक्यूमेट्री क्यूज नंबर फर्स्ट हियर इट्स बेस ऑन मोल सो यू विल साल एट विच वन इज ट्रू पार मोल इट्स काउंटिंग नंबर इट्स ग्राम एट मास ऑफ सब्सटांस एट कॉन्ट एट कॉन्ट टेन सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री टू अपाउट ट्वेंटी थ्री एटम्स आर एट कॉन्ट टेन डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स फॉर डिफरेंट सब्सटांसिस सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्राम ऑप्शन ए इट्स काउंटिंग नंबर सो येस वी नो दैट मोल इज द काउंटिंग नंबर दैट इज यूज फॉर सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाई टेन एस फॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री सिमिलर थिंग्स नाउ इट्स ग्राम एट मास ऑफ सब्सटांस येस वी नो पर हाइड्रोजन इट्स वन मोल इज वन ग्राम बिकॉज वन ग्राम इज वन एज इट्स एटामिक मास फॉर सी एल पैंतीस पॉइंट फाइव थर्टी फाइव पॉइंट फाइव एज एट्स एटामिक मास सो एट इज एटामिक मास ऑफ डेट सब्सटांसिस सो फॉर ईच सब्सटांसिस वन मोल इज दे वन मोल इज दैट ग्राम एटामिक मास ऑफ दैट सब्सटांस नाउ अ थर्ड इज एट कॉन्टेन सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाई टेन एस पॉट ट्वेंटी थ्री एटम सो येस एट इज एंड दिस नंबर इज आल्सो कॉल एवेगेड्रो नंबर इट कॉन्टेन डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स फॉर डिफरेंट सब्सटांसिस इट कॉन्टेन डिफरेंट नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल फॉर डिफरेंट सब्सटांस नो इट्स टोटली रॉन्ग बिकॉज इट कॉन्टेन सेम नंबर ऑफ पार्ट सेम नंबर ऑफ पार्टिकल्स फॉर डिफरेंट सब्सटांस बिकॉज इट डजेंट डिपेंड ऑन सब्सटांस हाइड्रोजन कार्बन ऑक्सीजन सोडियम वाटर एन एस यू वट एवर दिस सब्सटांस इज बट एट इज द टर्म डेट इज यूज फॉर ऑनली सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाई टेन स्पॉट ट्वेंटी थ्री एटम सो द ऑप्शन डी इज रॉन्ग सो एम सिक्यूज वन विच वन इज नॉट ट्रू पार मोल सो 
option D is not true. They can also give this MCQs is that which one is true. So in this case, that that may give option A is is given above. Option B is is given above. Option C is same as above. And if they give option D is all of these. So as these three are right, so option D will be also right. Now we know that number of moles equal to formulas. Number of moles equal to mass divided by molar mass. Or number of moles equal to number of particles divided by one mole particle that is equal to NaR 6.023 multiplied 10 is to the power number of particle are divided by 6.023 multiplied 10 is to the power 23. Now to solve MCQs on these MCQ number 4 is 60 gram sodium hydroxide weights is equal to donor mole. Now given is 60 gram that is that becomes the mass. Now sodium hydroxide from sodium hydroxide which means that NaOH its molecular mass is Na equal to 30 oxygen is 16 hydrogen is 1 so that become 40 now by formula we know that number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass where mass is 60 gram divided by molar mass is 40 gram 0 is 0 4 2 are 6 to remain 20 and uh, 4 1s are 4 sorry 2 remains and 4 5s are 20 so 1.5 is the answer so option B is correct now in screw number 5th is mass of 0.5 mole of calcium carbonate so given is number of mole to point is mass now we also know that the compound is calcium carbonate. Formula of calcium carbonate is CaCO3. Ca mass is 40. Carbon is 12. Oxygen is 16. Into is 3 oxygen. So we will multiply by 3. That become 48. 48 into 40. 48 into 12. 60. 60 into 40. 100. So its molecular weight is of calcium carbonate is 100. That is denoted by M. So we know that number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. The number of moles is equal to 0 0.5. Mass we have to point and molar mass is 100. That equal to mass is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 100. Or 1 by 2 multiplied by 100 that is equal to 50 grams. So option C is correct. And here option B was Correct. Now we will solve two to three MCQs for further learning and confirmation. So here are four MCQs that we are going to solve on topic number of moles. So MCQs number six is an experiment. At five point five zero multiplied ten to the power twenty five of water molecule were used. S n mole s. So in experiment there were experiment done in which water molecule is used and we have given the number of atoms of water molecule and we asked to point number of moles. So what is the relation? The relation is number of moles is equal to number of particle divided by n a particle or 6.023 multiplied in s power 23. So number of particle is 8.50 multiplied 10 to the power 25 and this is equal to 6.023 multiplied 10 to the power 23. As the answer is solved, so we will ignore 8.5 and 6.023 for our easiness. So we know that 6 ones are 6 and 2 remain 20, 6 3s are 18. So 1.3 multiplied 10 to the power this 23 will go upward so it will become minus 23 and we will again multiply 10 is for 2 so option is 1.3 multiply 10 is for 2 so we will get as there is no 1.3 so we will choose 1.4 because we have ignored the term 0.5 here in this case so 1.4 multiply 10 is for 22 is correct answer so answer 1.4 multiply 10 is for 2 here it is
ऑप्शन बी नाउ द नेक्स्ट एम सी क्यूज इज वेट ऑफ वन कार्बन एटम इज वी नो दैट कार्बन इज एटम इज प्रेजेंट इन द वर्ल्ड सो वॉट विल बी एट्स वेट सो फॉर सोल्यूशन वी नो दैट नंबर ऑफ मोल्स ऑफ कार्बन इक्वल टू वी नो दैट वन मोल कार्बन इफ वी हैव वन मोल कार्बन इज इक्वल टू डेट्स मास ऑफ कार्बन एटम एट सो एट इज ट्वेल्व ग्राम फर दैट वी नो दैट वन मोल ऑफ कार्बन मीन दैट सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाई टेन एस पॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री कार्बन इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व ग्राम सो वी हैव आस पॉर वन कार्बन सो हाउ मच विल बी एट्स वेट सो सिंपली वी विल यूज क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन एफ सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाई टेन एस पॉर ट्वेंटी थ्री कार्बन आइटम्स ट्वेल्व आर ट्वेल्व ग्राम सो वन कार्बन विल बी हाउ मच सो वी विल यूज क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सिंपली द होल चिप्टर इज बेस्ड ऑन क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सो एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई द एक्स मल्टीप्लाई बाई सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाई टेन एस पॉर वन मल्टीप्लाई बाई ट्वेल्व इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व सो एक्स इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व डिवाइड बाई सिक्स पॉइंट जीरो टू थ्री मल्टीप्लाई टेन एस पॉर So this will be equal to six two zero twelve multiplied ten to the power. It will go upward, so it will become minus twenty three. So option is two multiplied ten to the power minus twenty three. That is option B. So further, in sequence number eight is weight of one H two molecule is so. We know that one mole of H two O is six point zero two three multiplied ten to the power twenty three atoms of H two O molecule weights. Its molecular mass is is eighteen gram. So if we want to find which H two O molecule its mass is x. So by cross multiplication x into the x into six point zero two three multiplied ten to the power twenty three is this is the use of n a. And instead of this number, we can simply write n a for easiness of calculation. X multiplied by n is equal to one multiplied by eighteen. That is eighteen. So x is equal to eighteen divided by n a. As the answer is solved, so we will solve it. Eighteen divided by six point zero two three multiplied by ten to the power twenty three. This will go upward. It will become minus twenty three. And six three is eighteen. So the option is three multiplied by ten to the power minus twenty three. Three multiplied ten to the power minus twenty-three. In sequence number nine is weight of one oxygen molecule is. So now this is same as this, but we have oxygen molecule. So n a atoms of oxygen has weight of oxygen molecule. Oxygen molecule mean O two. So one n n a atoms of oxygen is thirty gram. So one oxygen equal to X. So, by cross multiplication, X into N A equal to 32 into 1, or X is equal to 32 divided by N A. So the option is 32 divided by N A. Then, further, you are solving in sequence number 10. In sequence number 10 is number of molecules in bis gram of carbon is. Bis gram of CO2 is so. We know that number of moles for any atom or molecule. In this case, number of mo moles for CO2 is equal to molar mass of CO2. That is 12 plus 16 zero by 230. So then, 32 is equal to 44 gram. So we know that one mole of CO2 or n mo one mole. CO2 is equal to 44 gram. That's the molecular mass of CO2. Further, we know that one mole of any molecular compound is equal to 6.023 into 10 is to the power 23 atoms. Now we know that one mole CO2 equal to 44 gram is equal to 6.023 multiplied by 10 to the power 23 atoms of Molecules of CO2. So, as one mole or 44 gram of same is same. So, one mole is equal to 44 gram is equal to the. So, if we point at this is in 44 gram we have n atoms. So, in 44 gram we have how much atoms? So, by cross multiplication 
we will get x multiplied by 44 gram is equal to 22 multiplied by 6.023 RNA or x is equal to 22 by 44 multiplied by NA 22 by 2 is equal to 44 and NA divided by 2 where NA is equal to 6.023 multiplied 10 to the power 23 and this divided by 2s we will got 3.011 multiplied 10 to the power 23 so option 3.011 multiplied 10 to the power 23 is correct option now the largest number of molecules is present in bios gram CO2, 98 gram H2SO4, 36 gram water and 180 gram of C6H12O6. So, for carbon dioxide, we know that 1 mole CO2 is equal to 44 gram because CO2 molecular mass is 44. The next is for H2SO4, its molecular mass is 2 gamma 62 into 68 is equal to 98 gram and that power water is 1 mole equal to 18 gram here is 36 gram so 36 gram is 2 mole and glucose 1 xos c gram is for glucose molecular mass is 80 so 180 gram is equal to 1 mole so r are the given option r this is 1 mole carbon 1 mole h2 is poor but water is 2 mole and 1 mole c successful so 1 mole is Na atoms, 1 mole H2SO4 is also one Na atoms, 1 mole C6 is 12O6 is Na atoms but 2 mole of water is 2 multiplied by Na. So 2 multiplied by Na, this is the largest number of molecule present in 36 gram of H2O. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are going to discuss the more and chemical equation and we will solve mcqs on the mole and chemical equation but first of all i would like to show you some tricks and tips so the first one is in all of these mcqs they will give us one equation in each mcq or problem like they will give us 2mg plus o that give us 2mgo or fe plus s that give us fes and so on now the first trick you have to do is that you have to understand that what the question say so here in the first equation, the given is that MgO react with oxygen and palm MgO. So, what this 2 means? So, S2 means that 2 mole magnesium react with, here is 1 but generally we do not write it. It means that 1 mole of oxygen and this is 2 mean 2 mole of MgO. So, the equation means that 2 mole magnesium react with 1 mole oxygen and form 2 mole MgO and so on it here is 1 but we didn't write it 1 mole Fe react with 1 mole sulfur and form 1 mole FeS so in this way 2 mole KCl O3 decompose and form 2 mole KCl with 3 mole oxygen and neutralization reaction 1 mole HCl react with 1 mole H NaOH and form 1 mole NaCl and 1 mole H2O. 1 mole ZnCO3, here is 1, forms 1 mole ZnO and 1 mole CO2. Now, 4 mole aluminium react with 3 mole oxygen and form 2 mole L2O3. And so on, 1 mole CO2 react with 1 mole H2O and forms 1 mole H2CO3. N mole of A react with N mole of B if this is no N or any number react with 1 mole of carbon and also form N mole of D. So this was the basis for the any chemical equation or stoichiometric equation solving. Now we are going to solve MCQs, MCQs on this problem. Now the first one is I would like to ask some I would like to solve a common sense question of maths of the top class 10th. So here is MCQs of general MCQs not related to, stoichi uh, related to cross multiplication but not related to stoichiometry but we are going to solve it because this is the basis of stoichiometry. So the 
MCQ question is if 10 students if 10 students can solve 30 physics MCQs then how many physics MCQs can be solved by 20 students so first of all you have to take on the comparison of two substances that they have given now they have given the relation between students and physics MCQs so we will write S for students and M for MCQs. Now the initial ratio is they have given the 10 students solve 30 MCQs. This is the initial ratio. In the next ratio, they are told that how many physics MCQs solved by 20 students. So they made the students 20, then they have asked for MCQs. So we will use simply cross multiplication. It means that x multiplied by 10 equal to 20 into 30 or x equal to 20 into 30 600 divided by 10 that is 60 so 60 that is mcqs can be solved by 20 student so this was easy so if you have understand this question then you can solve every mcqs of stoichiometry stoichiometry is not different than solving this mcqs like how many moles of O2 can be found by taking 10 moles of KClO3 and they have given us the equation. equation. So, first we will select two options like we will select students in physics MCQs in this question. So, in this question what two quantities will be select because we have given KClO3, KCl and oxygen. So, we will select those quantities which have asked for how many moles of oxygen can be found. So, they have asked for oxygen so the one quantity is this and the second is can be formed by taking 10 moles of KClO3 and they have given KClO3. Now the two quantities that we will be selected is the given substance and the ask for substance. So ask for oxygen and given is KClO3. So these two quantities will be selected. So we will write the ratio is between KClO3 and that of oxygen like this. This is for students and MCQs we selected KCLO3 and oxygen. The next was here 10 students can solve 30 physics MCQs. Ratio was given but this question have not such info but they have given the equation. And I have solved it and from the question it means that 2 means the 2 mole KCLO3 react or palm 2 mole KCL and 3 mole oxygen. So from the equation we know that 2 KCLO3 palm 3 mole oxygen so the, the first two will be, will be always put it from the equation like this 2 KCLO3 and 3 mole oxygen the next is how many physics MCQs been solved by 20 MCQs we put 20 and then we se select the next point is x so in same way they have asked for how many oxygen is found and by taking 10 moles of KCLO3 so this was question was solved and next is simply adjust a piece of cake like x multiplied by 2 equal to 3 multiplied by 10 or 2x is equal to 30 or x is equal to 30 by 2 or 15. So we will solve more MCQs in this way so you can learn us the same way. But here is just I want to show you a simple click like they will all use, always give us those two substances that I represent here by A and B. These will be react from reactants or both can be one product or one are reactant, other is product. The next is they will, we will get these two ratios from equation. Equation we call it 1 value 1 and value 2. These two values will be always getting from the equation the next is value 3 or 4 in value 3 or 4 they will give us one known and the other will be x are unknown so it may be 3 known or unknown or 4 known or unknown so the equation is these two quantities are selected as mole are in mole these are in mole so if 3 is in mole so the answer we will find of 4 will be also mole. Instead of mole, if they give us mass, 
and as per mole so we will convert the mass into mole if we point answer into mole and they have asked per mass so we will convert it into mass like we know that number of mole is equal to mass divided by molar mass now solve more mcqs here are four mcqs which i am, I am gonna to solve mcq number 13 is how many moles of mgo can be formed by taking 30 moles of mg so they have asked for mgo and they have given 30 moles mg so the two quantities selected is mg is q1 and mgo is for us so we will select mg ratio mg o the next is we will select two ratio from the equation like we know that two moles mg forms two moles mg o so the next is given value 30 mole mg they have given, they have given 30 mole mg and ask for to find mgo so by cross multiplication 2 into x is equal to 2 into 30 2 into 30 so 2 cancel with 10, okay, okay, 2 and x is equal to 30 mole so they will give us 30 mole mgo mcq is 14 how many moles of sulfur is needed to react with f to pump 10 mole fes they have asked for sulfur so this quantity and they have asked to uh, also given 10 mole fes so we will select sulfur and fes so the ratio is sulfur versus fes so according to the equation one mole fe react with one mole s to pump one mole fes so sulfur is one mole according to the equation and it pumps one mole fes now from the in the question they have given 10 mole fes and asked to find sulfur so by cross multiplication x multiplied by 1 is equal to 1x and 1 multiplied by 10 is equal to 10 so in next 10 and x so x is equal to 10 mole now how many moles of kcl is formed if 10 moles oxygen is formed now solution is how many moles of kcl is formed as per kcl and 10 moles of oxygen is formed and they have given when 10 moles of oxygen is pumped so the we will select kcl versus oxygen from the equation we know that 2 mole kcl react to pump when 2 mole kcl is pumped also 3 mole oxygen is pumped so we will get 2 ratio 3 now according to the question they have asked for kcl so a kcl is x and if they have they and they have given 10 mole oxygen is pumped so when they have 10 mole so by cross multiplication x into 3 is equal to 3x that is equal to 2 into 10 is equal to 20 so x is equal to 20 by 3 or 3 6 or 18 6.6 6. so 6.6 .6 mole is answer and x is how many moles of co2 can be formed they have asked for co2 and they have given 8.8 .8 mole of zn co3 so select zn co3 versus co2 from the equation 1 mole zn co3 pump 1 mole co2 so 1 ratio 1 they have given 8 mole zn co3 and they have given x so x multiplied by 1 is equal to x and 1 multiplied by 8 is equal to 8.8 .8 mole so this was so easy now in solving further mcqs i would like to make it little tricky is they give us n eta so if they give an mcq is number 17 how many moles of co2 can be pumped but instead of mole they give us how much mass of co2 can be pumped by hitting 8.8 .8 moles of co3 so it is same simple one is given one is asked so select zn co3 and co2 select two ratio from equation that is one ratio one now they have asked for co2 do whether mass or mole they have asked for co2 so we will select co2 is x and they have given 10 8.8 .8 mole of co2 8.8 .8 mole of zn co3 so this will be 8.8 .8 mole and next is if we point it is this ratio is mole this is mole this is mole so the answer will be mole so x is equal to 
8.8 mole. So, x multiplied by 1 is equal to 8.8 .8 multiplied by 1 by cross multiplication. So, we will get x is equal to 8.8 .8 mole. But we have, they have asked for mass. So, we know that 8.8 .8 mole CO2. So, we know that number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. To point mass, we will multiply number of moles with molar mass is equal to mass. That is equal to number of moles is equal to 8.8 .8 and multiply by molar mass is of CO2 is 40. Four. So, multiplying 44 by 8.8, .8, we will get 387. Now, further making little changes in the MCQ. So, for your conceptual, I, I have made such changes. Now, here we have two MCQs that is number 18 and 20. Number 18 is oxygen is prepared as in given reaction. In particular experiment, 200 gram of MCQs were obtained. So, how many moles of KCl3 KCLO3 use? So, this is the equation that they will also give in MCQs that potassium chloride decomposed that pump 2 KCl plus 3 moles oxygen. So, the first step is select two ratio two substances from these the one is oxygen is prepared as a question equation a particle experiment 20 gram oxygen was obtained so they have given 20 gram oxygen is obtained so and ask for kclo3 so this is given and this is ask for so we will select kclo3 ratio oxygen the next step is to write the equation values so the equation is 2 mole KCLO3 react and form 3 moles of oxygen. This was the first step. This is the second step. And the third step is to put the given value and to, ask, and to write the asked value. So, the given is 200 gram of oxygen. So, they have given is 200 gram of oxygen. 200 gram oxygen. And ask for moles of KCLO3. Three this is asked. So this was the third step. I put 200 gram instead in the instead of this place because this is mole, this is mole, this is ask per mole, and this if we put this value mole, so only then can get the answer as mole. So we will convert this mass into mole. So 200 gram oxygen O2 means that we know that number of mole is equal to mass divided by molar mass. So the mass is 200 and the molar mass of oxygen is 6 the molar mass of oxygen is the one is 16 and this is O2 molecule so we will put 32 3 2 2 so if this is 30 it will cancel with the and 3 3 6 are 18 6.2 something so this will be like 6.2 mole or 6 mole so the answer is 6.2 mole MCQ is just simple but instead of mole they have given mass so we can convert mass into mole so next is further is simply cross multiplication so we know that 2 multiplied by 6.2 is equal to 3 multiplied by x r 6.2 we write 6 so 2 6 are 12 is equal to 3 multiplied by x so x is equal to 12 divided by 3 or 3 4 are 12. So, the answer will be round about 4 and the actual answer is 4.17. So, 4 or 4.17 mole is the answer. The next MCQ is how many moles of NaCl is produced by taking 15.5 gram of HCl. So, they have given HCl and asked for NaCl. So, the first step is to select two substances we select HCl and NaCl now to put the given equation will use so one mole HCl react and palm one mole NaCl so one mole react HCl to palm is one mole NaCl they have asked for how many moles of NaCl produce so NaCl produces x we will find x and the given HCl is 15.5 gram of HCl so instead of mole they have given us 
15.5 gram HCl. So we will convert HCl mass into moles. So you know it, number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. The mass is 15.5 gram of HCl in the molar mass of HCl is hydrogen molar mass is 1 and it of HCl is 35.5. So the molar mass of HCl is 36.5. So there from this we will get 0 0.425. So, footing here, here 0 0.425. So, I convert number of moles into mass into number of moles. The next step is just cross multiplication. X multiply by 1 is equal to 1 multiply by 4.25. So, X is equal to 4.25 mole. And this is the answer. Question number 20. How many grams of CO2 produced by heating 8.8 moles of ZN CO3? The first step is to select substance. So, ask given as ZN CO3 and ask for CO2. So, the first substance is ZN CO3, the second is CO2. Now, the ratio given is here is 1, we ignore this is 1 ratio 1. 1 mole ZN CO3 pump, 1 mole carbon dioxide. Now the given value is how many grams of CO2 produced we will find moles of CO2 and then we will convert into gram. So they have given produced by heating 8.8 .8 moles of CO, ZN CO2. So mole, mole, mole. So the fourth quantity is also mole. So we will find the moles of CO2 then we will convert into mass as they ask in grams. So by cross multiplication we will put X. X multiply by 1 is equal to X and 8.8 .8 multiply by 1 is equal to 8.8 .8 or 1 multiply by x or x is equal to 8.8 .8 mole CO2. So, to convert it into mass, we know that number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. Mass is equal to number of moles multiplied by molar mass. That number of mole is 8.8 .8 multiplied by molar mass of carbon dioxide is CO2. So, multiplying 8.8 into 4.2, so we will get 387 gram. So the option is 387 gram. So this is the answer. So they can also give grams of certain CO2. If they give gram of CO2, then we will convert it into the mole. So this is the actual pathway. So we will select this is the pathway mole mole is the ratio from the equation this is give mole we will find mole so if they give gram it gram up then the through will convert it into mole and if they ask for mole so here up to right so if they ask for grams we will convert mole into mass the next one is 21 what mass of l2 2o3 produce how much l2 3 produce when 14.5 gram of oxygen react so selection is the ratio oxygen versus L2 O 3. So from the equation 3 mole of oxygen when react it form 2 mole L2 O3. Now they ask for ask for mass of L2 O3. So as they have asked for mass of CO2, so we will find the mole and we will convert into the mass. The next is they have given 14.5 gram of 14.5 gram of oxygen. So we will convert 14.5 gram into the mole. So converting 14.5 gram into the oxygen. So we know that number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. Mass is 14.5. Molar mass of 16 uh, oxygen is 32. 16 32s are so we will get 0 0.54 or 0 0.5. So this is the mole. So the first step was to convert mass into the mole. So they have given 14.5 mole of oxygen. So 
रिप्लेस ग्राम बाय मोल सो प्रोटीन पॉइंट फाइव ग्राम इज इक्वल टू पॉइंट फाइव मोल सो इफ वी क्रॉस इट बाय सॉल इट बाय क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन वी विल फाइंड द मोल ऑफ एल टू ओ थ्री दैट इज एक्स सो बाय क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन थ्री मल्टीप्लाई बाय एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फोर और एक्स इज इक्वल टू टू मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट फाइव फोर डिवाइड बाय थ्री एंड फ्रॉम दिस वी विल गेट इन टू मोल लाइक वी हैव पॉइंट द मोल ऑफ एल टू थ्री प्रोड्यूस एज जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन मोल सो रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन सो दिस वॉज एक्चुअली एल टू थ्री पम्प बट दे हैव आस पार ग्राम सो वी विल कन्वर्ट एट इन टू ग्राम सो मास इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ मोल मल्टीप्लाई बाई मोलर मास फ्राम नंबर ऑफ मोल इज इक्वल टू मास डिवाइड बाई मोलर मास मास इज नंबर ऑफ मोल मल्टीप्लाई बाई मोलर मास नंबर ऑफ मूल जी को टू जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन एंड डेट ऑफ मोलर मास ऑफ एल टू ओ थ्री इज ए एल टू ओ थ्री इज ए एल मास इज सत्ताईस सो मल्टीप्लाई बाय टू बिकॉज इज टू ओ एल एंड ऑक्सीजन इज सिक्सटीन सो मल्टीप्लाइड बाय थ्री एंड ए रेड यू विल गेट वन जीरो टू आर हंड्रेड जो जीरो पॉइंट टू सेवन मल्टीप्लाई बाई जीरो पॉइंट टू इज समथिंग लाइक ट्वेंटी सेवन सो वी विल गेट एट ट्वेंटी सेवन ग्राम सो द आंसर इज ट्वेंटी सेवन ग्राम एम सिक्यूज नंबर ट्वेंटी टू बट बिफोर एम सिक्यूज नंबर ट्वेंटी टू आई विल गो टू ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव बिकॉज ट्वेंटी थ्री इज अबाउट एस टी पी ट्वेंटी फोर इज एगार टू ट्वेंटी फोर एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव इज अकॉर्डिंग टू एगार्ड रू ला सो बिफोर बिसाइड डिस्कसिंग एस टी पी एंड एगार्ड रू ला आई विल डिस्कस इट इज इन द शेप ऑफ एम सिक्यूज सो Choose STP. What option is zero degree C one atmosphere, two seventy three Kelvin, one atmosphere, and so on. So solution is STP mean standard temperature and pressure. So what is the standard temperature? The standard temperature is zero degree C or zero degree C is equal to two seventy three Kelvin. And what is the pressure? That is one atmosphere or one atmosphere is equal to 760 millimeter of Hg. So the option is zero degree C not atmosphere. This, this. So all of these are correct because are all standard temperature and pressure. The next try is what is the regard rule of state that equal volume at same temperature and pressure have same number of particle, different number of particle, both of these, none of these. So this is actually the regard rule of that if we have two container of which temperature, pressure. And volume is same, so one 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 two two two. If this volume is equal to this volume, also T one equal to T two, and P one is equal to P two. So we can say that this is number of particle is equal to this number of particle, and this is Avogadro law. So Avogadro law states that equal volume at same temperature and pressure have same number of particle. The next is Avogadro law is applies to hydrogen, oxygen, carbon dioxide, all of these. So must remember that Avogadro laws is applicable for all gases. So a standard temperature and pressure. So if we have standard temperature and pressure, for standard standard temperature and pressure, the best thing is that one mole of any gas at STP volume is 22.4 dm cube so this is the relation between the number of moles and volume so we will use the formula as number of moles is equal to volume divided by molar volume molar volume mean that one mole is equal to 22.4 dm cube as we know the formula that number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass here molar mass is The mass of one mole substance. So, so we can also write number of moles is equal to number number of moles is equal to volume divided by molar volume. So, molar volume is the volume of one mole of that substance at S T P. So, we can convert mass into number of moles by molar mass, and we can convert volume into number of moles by using the molar volume. So. Next, to solve MCQ's number twenty-two. MCQ's number twenty-two is that 
If 15 gram of sulfur is burned, what volume of SO2 produced and they have given us the reaction as we above. So, they have given sulfur. So, the first compound is sulfur. As per SO2, so you will select sulfur ratio. Sulfur ratio SO2. From the equation, 1 mole sulfur palm, 1 mole SO2. So, 1 mole sulfur palm, 1 mole SO2. They have given volume values. So, they have given mole of sulfur. 15.5 grams so you can convert into mole so 15.5 or 15 gram so convert into number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass we know that mass is equal to number of moles into molar mass that is number of moles sorry we can point it they have given us mass so we will convert into mole so 15 gram is equal to we know that number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass here mass is 15 gram and the molar mass is 32 so 15 divided by 32 is nearly 0 0.5 something or 0 0.469 by using calculator as calculator is not allowed so you can write 0 0.5 and eta so this is 0 0.469 so we can find SO2 by cross multiplication x multiplied by 1 is equal to x and x multiplied by that is equal to 0 0.469 so 0 0.4 more sec of SO2 is formed but they have asked for volume we have point mole but they have asked for volume so we know that if we read the question they will give us this value at STP. So whenever there is STP used, we can convert number of moles into volume by number of moles equal to volume divided by molar volume. So here number of moles is equal to 469 is equal to 2 point volume. We will use molar volume that is 22.4 dm cube. So 22.4 multiply 0 0.469 is the volume that is 10.51. So basically what we this is the here is the answer but basically we have this is for extra information a b substance is from the reaction we will put this value right for example one ratio 2 f a gives us 2 time b and c we will select two substances from the equation the values will be the next, the next step we will write the values the third step they will give us this value and these two values they will give us one value like if they are asked for x and they have given us y so they can give us x in three forms simply if they give us mole we will write it here but if they give us gram we will con convert it into mass once again i want to try it because it is little bit Con fusion, like for example, for H2 and oxygen, that is most important. H2 plus 2H2 plus O2 give us 2H2. Oh, so if they give an hydrogen and they give us per H2O, so what will you do? So if the question is if 10 moles hydrogen react find H2O F10 dash I am not writing here unit and also find H2O in the so they can give us gram of hydrogen they can give us mole of hydrogen or they can give us volume of hydrogen at st phi and also they can give us gram to point us in gram to point us in mole and to point us in volume so don't worry about any solution it is just a piece of case like the first tip is select they have given h2 and as for h2o first is this the selection of substances so first tip is done this is half the question the second step is put two values that from the equation so two moles hydrogen react to pump two moles h2o so 
2H2. So this is the next step. 75 percent MCQ is solved. The next third step is putting the values. So in the third step, given value is hydrogen. That is 10. That is 10, and they have asked for x h2o so if they give us in first case if they give us 10 gram h2o so we will convert it into the mole as we know that number of mole is equal to mass divided by molar mass so mass is equal to number of moles into molar mass in second step if they give us mole if this is 10 mole so simply doesn't worry about calculation directly put 10 mole in third step if they give us volume if they give us like 10 dm cube so we will start let number of moles is equal to volume divided by molar volume and molar volume is 22.4 so we will use 10 divided by 22.4 dm cube so this is the way if they ask for mole so the found value is simply x is in mole but if they have asked per gram so we will use number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass where mass is equal to number of moles multiplied by molar mass and if they ask to point the answer in volume we will use number of moles is equal to volume divided by molar volume so this is the whole summary of solving stoichiometric equation MCQ is as MCQ is 27 this is been on x is limiting reagent that is very very important and each every eta there is one MCQs from x is in limiting reagent topic here we are solving MCQs number 27 on this it's so easy but you must remember three steps so the step number first is if they given any moles in gram or volume or anything we will convert in into standard unit that is mole so this is step number first the next step is before going to solution, going to solution, we will find the product from mole. We will find the product from each reactant. The next step is the reactant which gives least number of required product is limiting. The least product giving reactant is limiting limiting which be which one limiting will be that one which give least product so solving applying these three steps to the problem so we know that if x of 20 gram of co2 is dissolved in 80 gram of water find the limiting reagent and they give us the solution so the equation is about co2 in h2o so the first step is converting gram into mole so co2 that is x o b is gram converting into the step number first so x o b is gram number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass divided by molar mass molar mass of carbon dioxide is 44 so 120 divided by 44 is equal to 2.7 mole now convert also water so h2o that is 80 gram number of moles equal to mass divided by molar mass for water it is 18 so 18 divided by 80 is 4.4 mole 4.4 mole this was the first step the next step is find product from each reactant so find product for each reactant so for co2 from co2 we will find h2co3 so second step is HCO2 ratio H2CO3. So from the equation, one mole CO2 gives us one mole H2CO3, one ratio one. If CO2 is 2.7, then how much H2CO3? So X is equal to 2.7 mole H2CO3. So this is H2CO3 pound from 2.7 mole of CO2. Also point for H2O. So we know that H2O ratio H2CO3. So it's one ratio one from the equation. One mole H2 reacted with H2O3. Putting the values 4.4 mole H2 will give us X molar H2CO3 by cross multiplication. X is equal to 4.4 mole. So this was the first step. 
step number first gram into mole we convert gram into mole that is 2.7 mole carbon and 4.4 mole water the next step is to find the product that is to CO3 from CO2 as well as water to find CO2 this give the value 2.7 and from H2 give us 4.4 this is the answer now what is the answer we have to this is tricky so not much tricky but this is simple there is 2 CO3 pump in first case is 2.7 in the second case is 4.2 2.7 is from from formed from CO2 and 4.4 is formed from H2O so CO2 give least product so CO2 is limiting and H2O is excess so if this moves up gram rate with the so CO2 will be used wholly and 2.7 mole will be react with 2.7 moles of H2O and the rest will be appear as N axis. So this was the answer. Excuse number 30 that is on theoretical and actual deed but before going to the same excuse I would like to discuss theoretical and actual deed also what is the terms of or like for frontage So Going to discussion, give a touch to the MCQs. Heating 24.8 gram of copper carbonate and crucible produce on the 13.9 gram copper oxide. What is the percentage yield? Yield is first term, what is the yield mean? So, yield means the product or produce substance. We use the term yield in normal life. So, there are two types of yield production, or there are two types of production. What is theoretical? Theoretical mean reading or calculation or just like theory, like we read book or we are solving anything. So, in stoichiometry, we deal that A plus B react and form C plus T or A F 10 mole, then we will give T of 10 mole. So, all the calculation that we are doing on blackboard on paper are just a theory. This is this yield is called theory radical yield or yield based on theory on opposite of this we have actual yield we can easily say that 10 mole of a react and pump 2 with 10 mole of b and it pump 10 mole of c and 10 mole of d but what will happen if we do the reaction in the laboratory laboratory and what will be the yield so that yield is called actual yield actual yield or the yield that we perform in laboratory or the yield that is called experimental if we perform experiment and we get the yield that yield is called actual yield and that will be experimental yield or we call it practical yield the yield or the product that we obtain by using experiment as a result of practical so that is the actual yield or experimental yield or practical yield but all the yield that we give on basis of just calculation that is called theoretical yield. So if we can calculate that we will get 10 moles of A and 10 moles of B or 10 moles of D. But in laboratory we will not get theoretical yield. We will get actual yield. And this actual yield will be less than theoretical. Then why? That whenever we perform we will get some error. If we want to measure 1 gram of, ox one gram of uh, sulfur. So, if we measure it, we may get 0.99 gram instead of 1 gram or anything can happen, the reaction, partial reaction or partial reaction may occur instead of full reaction or the anything is, we can lose something mechanical loss. For example, if this is sulfur and we are using spoon power sulfur, so some sulfur will be stick to the sulfur so human error or we can do error also in calculation so all these human error mechanical loss side reaction other reaction could go to the reversibility so all these are the reason where the actual experimental or practical yield will be less than the theoretical yield because these terms doesn't affect our calculation in theory in theory we just perform that a will be reactant pump doing there and by cross multiplication and we will get the answer but if you do for a palm the experiment in lab, you will get the practical experimental or actual yield that will be always less than the theoretical yield. So, this is for MCQ number 31. 
that y actual use is less than theoretical use so the option is error theoretical uh, partial reaction human error mechanical loss and reversibility so these all are the so everyone may perform experiment in laboratory so we will use that which ex experiment is best or which yield is best or which practical use is top or best so we will use the term percentage yield percentage yield is the just the ratio of actual that i perform the reaction and i get value of 0 0.9 0 0.8 or something and the ratio of actual to divided by theoretical and multiply by 100 multiply by 100 because the answer is in the percentage so this is called percentage yield now coming back to the equation now the equation they have given that heating 24.8 gram of copper carbonate that is a substance in crucible now someone is per in crucible produce only donor gram of oxide what is percentage yield we have to ask for percentage yield so writing the formula of percentage yield so we know that percentage yield is equal to actual yield or practical yield or experimental yield divided by theoretical yield multiply by 100 so we need theoretical yield and actual pin so someone is performing the experiment by taking 24.8 gram of copper carbonate in the crucible sorry i forgot the reaction here the reaction is cu cu3 cu cu3 that by heating producer cu and cu cu and cu2 so someone is performing the reaction and they get by heating 24.8 gram of copper carbonate 24.8 gram of copper carbonate and he get 13.9 gram of copper oxide this was someone who performing the experiment and he was heating copper carbonate into crucible so what is crucible crucible is a part like this and we this is the crucible we use it in the chemical laboratories or any other repository we put substance in it and we we just give heat to the copper any substances we heat the substances to decompose it the use of crucible is this that the crucible can bear the temperature up to 5000 degree c or 5000 kelvin so this is the temperature bearing equipment so someone is performing experiment he by using the crucible so he get the yield of 13.9 gram so this is experimental yield because he get this value is the result of experiment he is performing experiment in the crucible so the actual yield is 13.9 gram he get 13.9 gram so multiply it by 100 divided by theoretical yield so to point theoretical yield theoretical yield mean we will calculate it by theory so how to calculate it it is simply as in stoichiometry now 24.8 gram of copper is heated so the one substance is cu3 and cup we will find the copper oxide so as we will find the copper oxide by theory that the, our answer will be the theoretical yield so this is cuco3 so the first term is select cuco3 ratio coo and next is one cuco3 mole react and form one mole of coo so here co3 mole is we will convert mass into mole that is this is equal to 124.8 gram so converting 24.8 gram into mole we will convert we will divide mass divided by molar mass so 24.8 mass ma molar mass of cu cu3 is is cu is equal to 64 molar mass of cu is 64 cu cu3 it is 64 for oxygen is uh, for carbon it is 12 for oxygen it is 16 multiply by 3 so the answer we will get is 124 so 224.8 divided by molar mass that is equal to we will get we will get uh, 24.8 divided by 24.8 8 divided by 124 is equal to 0 0.2 so the given mole is 0 0.2 so 
1 mole give 1, 0 0.1 mole will be given to what? Simply we can say 0 0.2, but by cross multiplication, x multiplied by x is equal to x, this is 0 0.2 mole. So, we have found 0 0.2 moles u will be be pound, found, but converted into mass. So, they have, so they have given us gram, so we will convert into the gram. So, we know that per cu, cu is 64 and for oxygen it is 16. So, 64 multiplied by 16 is equal to 80. So, number of moles is equal to mass divided by molar mass. This is mole is equal to number of mole multiplied by molar mass is equal to mass. So, 0 0.2 multiplied by 80 will go to 8 are 6. 0 0.2 multiplied by 80. So, we will get 16 gram. So, by theory, we perform that by taking 24.8 gram or 0.2, that is equal to 0.2 mole of copper oxide. The cruise, the copper oxide form was 13.9 gram or it was 0.2 mole. It was found as 16 gram. By theory, we perform, this was theoretically, because by theory, by theory, we perform that 16 gram were power. But experiment, well, whoever is doing the experiment, he got the 13.9 gram is palm. So, 13.9 was actual or actually experimental and or theoretical yield is 16 gram. So, 13.9 divided by 16 multiplied by 100, we will get 86.87. So, this was the percentage of the percentage yield of the copper oxide and this was the end of the or chapter. If you have any question, you can WhatsApp us on 0342196394 or you can send the question on our Facebook page that is Bank of MCQs. And for further more videos, subscribe us and visit our YouTube channel that is also Bank of MCQs and must comment and like and share with others if you have learned today something from me. So, see you on next lecture. Bye bye. Allah Hafiz.